everybody. Today on the podcast, the prospect of live broadcasts, why I want to redefine lifestyle business, and why I love the make money online niche, and I think you should too. Let's get moving. All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the Lifestyle Business Podcast, where we believe growing a profitable business is the best way to achieve the lifestyle that you desire. It is an, I mean, every every episode is awesome because I just love doing podcasts. I am in Ortigas area of Manila, but not for long. I'm kind of itching for a break, you know? I've to be honest, lifestyle business is this entrepreneurial approach really fits with my personality in that I'm a bit of an extremist. When I decide on a project, I love to go and just put everything into it. I think that that's such a thrilling way to live life. Being a bit more project oriented allows you to do things like say, you know what? I'm not going to know what a weekend is for the next 3 weeks. I'm just going to pull together these people. I'm going to be working constantly. I'm going to be doing all this stuff. And then after that, I'm just going to get on a plane and I'm going to go to Bangkok to hang out with Sean because that guy's just been filling my head with all this cool Bangkok stuff. It's like I feel like I'm missing out over here in Manila. Or I might uh, definitely have Palawan on my mind, which is a really cool island um, with some of the most gorgeous beaches on the planet here in the Philippines. Uh, there's a bunch of other places swimming in my mind, but a few things I need to get done here in Manila, most notably finalize our incorporation structure uh, for the, the office that we want to set up here. I'm going to share the more, more details about that at OutsourceToThePhilippines.com, but here I want to talk about lifestyle. We're on the Lifestyle Business Podcast. Two things I want to talk about. Number one, definition of lifestyle business has officially changed, and I am signaling the change because the old school definition of lifestyle business, in fact, the one purported by Wikipedia, which is ahead of this podcast in the search results, which annoys me, but congratulations, Wikipedia. I appreciate you anyway. Um, You know, I think that this is an incorrect uh, approach to lifestyle business given the digital age. And I think that things are evolving. Um, you know, in the past, a lifestyle business was essentially uh, somebody who said, you know what I love? I love surfing and I love beer. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to Thailand. I'm going to open a bar and it's going to allow me to basically surf and do beer. And, you know, it's going to enable my lifestyle, but I'm not going to really try to grow it for profit's sake. I, what Ian and I are on about here is much different. We are starting a business whose primary purpose is to enable the personal freedom of everybody involved and allow the people involved to achieve their particular lifestyle goals. And that really impacts the way that we make business decisions. And as you've heard in the past, I had a lot of insecurity about my desire to travel. And we didn't know what that was going to mean for our company. I mean, when you think about companies in terms of three years and not three weeks, if you think about three weeks, that's the way that traditional businesses work because they're thinking about shareholder equity. They're thinking about what are we going to put on the books next quarter? And, and you know, it's not very common for them to say, hey, like, let's just let this guy off and travel, you know? That's going to work. But in, our, in terms of our lifestyle business, if our primary goal is to enable people to achieve their personal goals, their personal freedom, it's like, all right, well, look, we got to let this guy go. And what ended up happening is that my travels here to Asia, I found a way to build that back into our business. And in fact, we've got an awesome uh, little report uh, to put out to the community about how to negotiate remote work arrangements that uh, have to do with outsourcing. That's exactly what I did to get my entrepreneurial career started. And I'm going to teach you how step by step. But today, I'm not going to go on about definition all day long. What I'm going to talk about is how to make money online. This is one of the most loaded phrases on the internet. I absolutely love it how to make money online. I mean, look, I don't care what you think about making money online, but if that, if, if a legitimate answer to that question doesn't interest you, then I, I don't understand you. How to make money online sounds like the greatest thing ever. I mean, how to make money is pretty darn good, right? But how to make money online, I mean, we're talking, you can make money from anywhere because the internet is everywhere. How to make money online is something that I'm extraordinarily interested in. Here's the deal with how to make money online. Everybody is extraordinarily interested on that, or at least a huge group of people. And so it's a super profitable market. There are a lot of, I mean, you walk up to anybody and if I say, look, what if I could teach you how to quit your stupid job and make some money online, buddy? 
What do you think about that? How hard of a sale is that, really? I mean, what's the guy going to say to you? No, you know, I'm, I'm pretty cool uh, with my crappy job. I don't really want to make money online. No thanks. No. This is a great market, and I think a lot of people shy away from it. And the people who don't, the people who see the opportunity to see the conceptual ways into this thing can actually start to make some money. That's why it's awesome for you. So making money online kicks ass. That's the bottom line. Everybody wants to do it. Everybody can do it. And there's a lot of money to be made. Here's the thing. And I want to really impress this upon the audience because I know a lot of people are struggling to try to find ways to make money online. You do not need to make money online in order to help or teach people to make money online. I'm going to pause for dramatic effect and I'm going to say it again. You do not need to be making money online in order to help or teach people make money online. I think this is critical and what we get here is we get a juncture of two different kinds of people. We get people that are curious and we get people who are belly aching about so-called online gurus and these people who just don't provide value and they do this, this. You know what? Don't get yourself caught up in market moralization. There are people out there that are willing to pay for things like your perspective on how to make money online or your help in how to make money online. Let's not get into a big judgment fest about what color the fonts is, how big they are, how many testimonials are on a sales page. I think it's ridiculous. Entrepreneurs, you consider, it's not about style. It's about morality. It's about your clients. If you have some kind of moral objection to selling or giving people what they want, more power to you. I don't really think that that's the best approach if if what you're, you're trying to be as an entrepreneur, you're trying to give people what they want. You're trying to facilitate their desires. Here's the deal. Here's the conceptual thing. You don't have to be making money online in order to facilitate other people's progress to doing so. And I think that's an important thing. So by merely being a conduit for the information, you can be offering people that want to fast track a huge value. Here's a very simple example. A lot of people make money online by using a WordPress framework. Now, if you can develop a specific program or a product that helps them expedite a particular function or a particular implementation of that framework vis-a-vis -vis, like in order to help them to make money online. Boom, there you are. You've got a way into the market. You're a facilitator for other people who want to go make money online because there are going to be people chasing this stuff and there are going to be people with really great connections and angles that they can definitely profit off of your facilitation product, so to speak. So that's one way you can like conceptually get yourself in the game if you feel a lack of confidence because you're not making all this money online yet. You don't have to go out there and be a poser, like, hey, like, and, and make up a bunch of fluff. Actually help people who have potentially, in, in the short term, more potential than you. And that's the way you're really going to learn, by engaging those people as your clients. And so I think that that's one way in the game for my people who are interested in making money online. Here's the final thing about making money online is you're not going to make money online by listening to what everybody else says. So learn what you can, be honest with yourself, grow some teeth, and go out there and kick some ass. And if you need some help, shoot me an email, dan at lifestylebusinesspodcast.com. I want to talk a lot more about making money online because I'm interested in it. Right now we're making a lot of money online, and I want to make more and I want to hear your tips, and I want to share some stuff we got going, like our SEO protocol, our niche selection protocol. Old Sean Ogle and I are working on both of those things right now, and they will be available to the podcast listeners. Also, keep your eyes open for uh, our live casts. Ian and I have decided that we have a passion, like a, a real passion for interacting live with other entrepreneurs. I feel like if you get Ian and I in a room with entrepreneurs, we are just the happiest people on the freaking planet. And one way we can do that virtually is by doing live podcasts. If you're interested in that, get on the feed, get on the mailing list, stick around. We're going to be announcing that stuff shortly. Talk to you soon. Hey, everybody. Thanks for listening. Don't be shy. We've got a mailing list, lifestylebusinesspodcast.com. Go there, get yourself signed up, and we'll keep you up to date on everything.